dropped my Toby watch in the water. Okay, today we're gonna take a look at this Toby watch. It fell in some water and it was in there for about a minute and we're just gonna open it up, make sure that there's no excess water inside that will end up destroying it. I've sprayed it with some isopropyl alcohol to try and evaporate as much water as possible. Um, but we're gonna open it up, take a look at what's inside and make sure that there's no excess water in there that will corrode the electronics. As far as I know, most of it is pretty well sealed up. The USB cover was on, and I believe this part, is these wings on the Toby watch are isolated from the electronics inside. Uh, so we'll take a look and see what's in there. So we've got five screws here on the back. I think that should suffice to open it up. I don't think there's any trickery or anything like that to keep it closed. I did quickly watch a video online about how to replace the battery in this, and it does look like it'll just open up fine. Okay, and this is what we have. This is the mechanism that opens the, the wings here on the side. And there we go. Here's the extra gear stuck on the back here. So that goes down here. Just gotta make sure we align it properly. You'll see here, there is still a little bit of water in here or isopropyl alcohol. So we'll get all this cleaned up. Let's take out this mechanism. And then we do have an additional five or seven screws, depending on if these need to be removed as well. So I'll try and keep all of these together here and the one that's still inside the lid. And there is one short one as well, which I believe will go in the center here as the center has a, a post that sticks up so it doesn't need to be as long, which makes sense. Okay, and that's just a little motor. And it looks like all these screws are the same size. And it looks like this part is pretty well sealed up. It's not easy to remove this casing. I don't want to break any of these parts pulling on it. Oh, there we go. Like maybe there is some sort of rubber. Yeah, the edge here is rubber, so it does look like this might be waterproofed at least a little bit. And I'm just gonna take a peek inside of here. 
and see if I can see any water or anything like that, which I don't, so we might be okay. I don't want to remove, have to remove this motor wire in order to look inside. As the wire doesn't seem like it's super long. Oh, it is quite long actually. Okay, and here's the battery. So not a lot, there is a couple drops of water here. Very small, so what we'll do is we will spray them with some isopropyl alcohol and pretty much leave everything as is. Just clean up some of those little droplets of water up here on the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. So just here on the ribbon cable, you can see a couple drops. Uh, just here, one and two. And then on top of this casing, there's a little drop right here, up here. Um, this one isn't, that's not water, that's some sort of adhesive. And that's a magnet. Other than that, I don't see any other water droplets or anything. There's none on the battery. There is some discoloration here on the battery. Uh, maybe it did get wet here. We can try and peel that up maybe and see. No, it's not water. Just some discoloration from previous. Yeah, so let me get the isopropyl alcohol. We'll give it a spray down and then we'll reassemble. Okay, so here we have our alcohol. Just gonna give it a couple shots like that. And we'll let this evaporate. We got a little cotton swab. And we'll just swab up anything that's still there. And we should be good to reassemble it. So I'm not going to tighten these screws all the way down. I'm going to get them in most of the way. And then we'll tighten them up at the end. And we don't want to go too tight. It is plastic. And it will probably be pretty easy to strip. So basically just when you start feeling a little bit of resistance, you should stop. And then we'll get our motor mount cover. And then the hard part is reassembling this gadget. It looks like we need to set this spring. There's a small spring in here. And it needs to go into this little spring carrier here. Just like that. Okay, so this should spring up and down. Let's see. Perfect. So 
we want this guy to kind of face off to this side here. So that when the motor turns, it opens these up. Okay. So if you can see the mechanism here, the motor turns some teeth on the outside of this. This one third of a circle here and on the inside of the circle there's a gear that catches the teeth on the inside of this mechanism so when that turns they open up and I think I'm going to give it I'm gonna move it this way a little bit more just because the mechanism almost runs off the gear teeth there for the motor you can see right here so I'll move it over one or two gears. Which means we'll lift it out. Rotate it just a couple. And then we'll test it out. Maybe one too far, so let's move it back because it's now it's now hitting the mechanism right here. And it looks like that should do it. Perfect. Let's drop that on top. Actually, let's, before we seal this up, we'll turn it on and make sure it functioned properly. So there goes some of the... So it's a little bit of grinding in there. There we go. That sounds better. There we go. I'm going to open and close them. I think if you shake them a little bit here. Okay, let's get these screws in. So it seems to be working pretty good. Okay, and just to show that it is working, we can push our button here and the touch screen is working. We'll see if the speaker is working. Test, test, test. Yeah, I didn't hear anything out of the speaker there. Let's try again. Testing, testing, testing. Yeah, so I wonder if something's wrong with the microphone, maybe. Let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so it did work a little bit. Just not very loud. So maybe the microphone has some liquid in it and it will dry out in a little while, but it is getting some audio. Okay, so if you can't hear that, let me try again. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Test, test, test. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello, hello. <laughs> So we'll wait for that to dry out. The microphone's not broken, it's just if we play this here. So it is getting audio. Uh, there might just be some liquid in there, it's making it hard to receive. I don't know how well it worked previously, so not sure. But touch screen is working. See if the camera is working. Camera is working. Okay, and after a little while, we can see here that the microphone has gotten better so we'll do test 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 one two three test 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 and then you can hear it play back test 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 one two three test 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 okay and we have a working toby watch with no water damage in it thanks for watching I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.